Hello! Hey kids! Karen Wolf here in the art studio and you can call me Miss Karen if you'd like. A lot of the kids in the art studio uh, here and locally, that's what they call me. So, uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, the I can, It's new, so Kids Painting Place. I can't remember the name of it. So, hopefully you guys will remember the name of it. Like and subscribe to my channel so that you can catch videos on here. Um, I'm going to uh, try to load one on at least once a week, and you guys can paint along with me. So, you can paint along, draw along, whatever you've got. It doesn't matter. If you need art kits, shout out to me, and I'll send you a kit. I'm getting those uh, to where I can ship them out. Out. Um, that's new. We're working on that. So if you're interested in one, let me know and I'll, I'll hook you right up. Uh, you can paint with watercolors along. You can paint with acrylic paint is what I'm using here. You can color, you can do it in markers, whatever you're, uh, whatever you're allowed to use. <laughs> so, uh, what we're going to work on today though, is the bunny. Since we're right up here, uh, going on for, uh, Easter, you can use this, do this anytime of the year. Doesn't matter. Doesn't have to be Easter time. Um, but we're going to paint in acrylic today. And we're just using a few colors. We're using um, some white, red, blue, a little bit of purple. If you don't have purple, you can mix red and blue makes purple. So if you don't have purple, you can mix red and blue. And then we've got a little bit of black and white. So fun times here. Um, I've got the drawing on. And like I said, if you want a kit for this, I can uh, I can hook you right up with that. So just let me know. Send me a message. Uh, let me know in the comments. Um, tell your parents. Tell your guardian. Tell your uh, your grandma. Your whoever's there with you uh, that you want a kit, and uh, we can take care of that. So uh, I've just got the drawing on here, real easy, and I'll show you how you can do that. Uh, it's real easy. Um, parents can do this. You're, it, this is just a circle. So if you take like a, um, should have been prepared for this, but if you take like a plate, let me get one real quick. Little plate. See, this is just a circle, a half circle. So if you just take like a plate, draw a circle on, just take it off the edge there, and then you trace around. Just trace around here to draw that circle part, or you can just draw a circle just off the page. And then I've got the ears going up. You just take a couple little swirps right there for the ears. We got some circles there for the eyes, a little a, a triangle for the nose, mouth, and some whiskers. This is an easy one, guys. Easy stuff. Um, but if you want uh, the real template, the art kit and what not, let me know and I'll fix you right up. I'm going to move you in closer so you can see. Got to be able to see what I'm doing and all this stuff behind me. See these are all that back there are things that I've done for the kids. So a lot of fun stuff going on here. Yeah. So you want to, you want to hang out with me for a little bit because I I'm all about painting. I love to paint. We're just going to use a couple simple brushes. Uh, use whatever brushes you have. I just use the simple uh, number four round. We'll do um, probably um, just a, a one inch flat or the biggest flat that you have and um, probably a half inch flat. Um, you could do it with a half inch flat. You could do this painting with these two brushes. Just a half inch flat and a around right there. So <clears throat> I'm going to uh, paint in uh, using the bigger brush or you, like I said you can do it with this brush. You can paint in using that. Just get that brush a little bit wet. We're just going to get that brush a little bit wet and then we're going to dry it with a paper towel. I'm getting some paper towel right here. See this brush. I'm just got it wet and I'm just squeezing the water out of it. Just be nice to your brush. Just squeeze the water out of it. Don't, uh, don't be hard on it. I'm trying to get you all up here so I can see if you're in frame on the, um, so you can see me, see what I'm doing here. 
Yeah, that's good. All right, so we're going to take this color that we've got on here. If you're uh, painting along with acrylic, this can be any kind of acrylic paint that's safe for kids. Um, you can use like, uh, this is um, just a, a paint that I order in bulk online, but you, Walmart has it, Hobby Lobby has it. Like I said, you can use, you can use watercolors, whatever. Um, my little um, Charlie, uh, my granddaughter, she paints in watercolors and loves it. So that works out really well for the littles. Um, but for the um, older kids, then um, the older they are, the more they can work with the other colors, the acrylics. So, uh, Henry, he's five, my grandson, and he likes acrylic. So, we're just going to do a little bit of blue here, and we're just going to paint that around the edge. Just take your brush and paint around, okay? We're just going to take some blue, some white, mix it together, making a blue and white color. And I want you to just outline, outline that bunny. And what I've done here is I've outlined over top of my drawing with a Sharpie so that whenever you paint on this, you can still see uh, the drawing, okay? So that's real helpful. So just paint all along the line of the bunny's ear right there and then just paint out to the edge, paint out to the edge. Just paint to cover the canvas. Now don't use a whole bunch of paint to you know, be real thick, but you want to use enough paint that you're covering the canvas. And then if you want to, you can paint the edge of it there. And that way when they hang it on the wall, it's all, it's all, um, finished and you don't have to frame it or anything. So there's that. Yeah, really cool. All right. So then we're going to go into some more when your brush gets empty, you have to reload. You have to reload. Do not try to paint uh, on the canvas without paint on your brush. Because that's why they call it painting. So I'm just outlining, outlining the, br the rabbit with my brush. And then I'm going back in and painting over to the edge. Just to get that on there. Outline that bunny, outline that bunny right there. And then I'm just gonna paint out to the edge. And when I disappear, I'm just getting more paint. All right, so I'm just painting in. I'm gonna dab some on the edge here. All right, this is fun. This is really fun. This one it doesn't take very long to do this one. It's just really fun, quick and easy. And for the little, uh, the really young ones, twos, threes, fours, well, maybe not two. I don't know, Charlie and Henry both painted when they were two. Um, paint the outline for them, like draw the outline for them and let them paint um, the outline, inside of the outline. Like, um, I'll show you here. We're getting ready to switch. I'm going to uh, rinse this brush really good in the water. Rinse your brush. Rinse it, rinse it, rinse it. And then dry it with a paper towel again. Squeeze water out of it. Okay? So, for the... Um, for uh, the little ones, you can just put a little bit, a little bit of purple and white this just is a little tiny tiny bit of purple because purple is really strong and you're going to add a, some white to that purple's really strong so i'm just making a light purple color and then i'm gonna for if i was had a little tiny one here painting with me i would outline that edge outline that outside of that shape and then I would give them the brush with paint on it and tell them to paint all inside of this shape. So that way they don't have to worry about making that outline on the edge. But if they're older, uh, they can do it on their own. All right, so we're going to just paint this in all around. I know it's a purple rabbit. Who ever heard of a purple rabbit? You can paint this rabbit whatever color you want. And then I'm going to take that 
around the edge and around the bottom just to finish that up so that it's all painted. Okay, so I'm gonna go around the outside edge with that purple. Then I'm gonna go, I'm gonna take that brush and I'm gonna go into the white with this, this purple, little bit of purple that I have left on that brush. I'm gonna go into the white, get some more white on my brush because I want it to be more white. See how this is white in the middle? So I'm gonna take the white on my brush and I'm gonna paint the face white in the middle. And I'm just gonna go round and round, round and round so that it's lighter in the middle and then it gets darker on the outside edge. So that's pretty cool, huh? Then I'm gonna go back into the purple. Go back into that purple mixture. I haven't rinsed my brush at all. And then I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna paint the ears. Now we're gonna, let's just switch to the smaller brush though. We don't wanna have a train wreck here with using too big of a brush. So I'm just gonna rinse the you always want to make sure you rinse your brushes good before you lay them down because you don't want the paint to dry in them. I'm going to get that brush a little bit wet, squeeze the water out of it with the paper towel. Then I'm going to go into that purple again, purple and white color, just like we used to begin with. And like I said, you can paint this whatever color you want. You can do brown and white, you can do blue and white, you can do pink and white, you can do whatever you want. Color doesn't matter. All right, so I'm just gonna go in with the blue, or with the purple, a little bit of purple and white. Always go into the side of your color. Don't dip down in the middle of your colors because that keeps them clean. And we're just going around the outside edge, guys. We're just putting this color on the outside edge. Since that's a little darker, I'm going to just clean my brush down here a little bit on that one. Then I'm going to go on the outside edge of this one. Just chasing around that shape. Just tracing around that shape. Now you could make major ears whatever shape that you want, doesn't matter. Ear shape, doesn't matter. Then rinse your brush. You didn't even really have to rinse it. You could have left that purple one there. Let's just see what it does if we leave that purple one there. Pretend like I didn't rinse my brush. I'm gonna go into the pink, a little bit of white. See, it doesn't matter. You didn't even have to rinse your brush. You can if you want. Hey now, we're just gonna do what we want. <laughs> right? We're just gonna do what we want. All right, now we're gonna go here and we're gonna go in the middle and we're gonna paint that pink. I'm gonna make mine just a little bit more pink. You make yours as pink as you want. Oh, isn't that pretty? Pink in the middle. This is a fun little, just a fun little painting. If you're painting in watercolors or, like I said, you can use markers or crayons, whatever you have. Just have fun with it, guys. Just, just adding a little bit more red to mine. Just a pink inside of that ear. Then we're gonna make it, we're gonna do the detail on the face, but I think if we paint that nose in right now, it's too wet. So we're gonna have to dry it. So we're gonna rinse our brush. It's too wet. So we're gonna have to rinse that brush really good. Dry it with the paper towel, squeeze the water out of it. And I need you to dry it or have your parent or guardian dry it with the hair dryer. dry 
side because when you turn it on its side, it doesn't have a shine on it anymore. And then take the, um, the number four. We're going to switch to the number four round or whatever little brush that you have. This is just a little brush for some detailing. And we're going to go into the, um, let's just go into the black. We're going to get a little bit of black. Not a whole lot. Roll your brush. And if this is too hard for the little ones, the um, parents, you all can, the adults, you can do this for them. And then we're going to get paint on our hand. <laughs> Not you all, me. And then we're going to make a circle. Make a circle. Just on that outside of the eye. That's just a little bit of paint on your brush. And then you're going to just um, highlight in, just or paint in the highlight. I'm going to paint in a little circle at the top. We're going to go in with a little bit more black. And it's helpful if you put a tiny, if you're using acrylic paint that's thick, it's helpful if you put just a little bit of water in with it to thin it out a little bit so that it's not real thick. And don't push very hard. Do not push really hard because the more you push, the harder you push, the fatter your line's going to be. So you're just going to take this and you're going to draw a line out. And if this is something that's too hard for the kids, an adult can do this part. I find that the kids can do this quite uh, quite well, actually. And then outline the outside of the mouth. And then you'll start here. You'll come down and around. Start here. If you can't go all the way, go halfway. And then come down the other halfway and meet. And that's the eye. Or that's the mouth. Gosh, I don't know what I'm saying today. That's not for sure not an eye. That was a mouth. All right, then I'm going to rinse my brush, squeeze the water out of it. You want to make sure you squeeze the water out of it when you're using acrylic because it um, dilutes it too much and it won't, makes it too thin and it won't show up. Pink is red and white. Paint in your nose. Paint in that rabbit's nose. It's kind of a like a triangle shape with some rounded edges. There. Then I'm going to go into the white. I'm just going to take a little bit of white. Let's rinse our brush first. Rinse that brush first. Dry it really good with the paper towel. Then you're going to go into the white, get a little tiny bit of white on that brush, roll it around on your plate so you'll get a little tip of the paint there. You're going to touch a little light right there on the top of its eye. And then we're going to put a little bit more white and roll that out. And then we're going to do a little, just a little doop on its nose. All right, so that's pretty cool, huh? That was easy. Now you're all done. <laughs> you have painted a rabbit. All right, that was so fun. So cute, so quick, so easy. The kids are going to love it. You can go back and watch it, as, paint it as many times as you want. It's Come back on here anytime. Um, I'm, like I said, I'm going to be loading, uh, hopefully, a video each week for the kids to paint. Never know, I might load more. Um, but be sure to like and subscribe so that um, you can catch the videos. You'll be notified of new videos coming. And please let me know in the comments um, some suggestions of some things that you would like to paint. Um, I'm up for suggestions. It's great to uh, get input from you guys because I 
<laughs> that's the hardest part sometimes is uh, coming up with ideas. So thanks so much. Appreciate you guys. Come back and watch again. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know if, in the comments if you're interested in a kit. And let me know in the comments what you would like to paint in the future. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. Bye-bye.